Shared back with another video on easy math. Okay, today let's discuss about functions, a topic in functions called as odd and even functions. Okay, we all know about odd numbers and even numbers, right? Odd numbers mean numbers which are not divisible by 2, even numbers mean which are divisible by 2. But in odd and even functions, that is a small different. In numbers, they are divided into two types, divisible by two or not divisible by two. But here, they are divided based on the negativity. For example, if you take the function f of minus x, they are based on the function f of minus x. If f of minus x is equal to f of x, then they are even. If f of minus x is equal to minus f of x, then they are odd. If they are f of minus x is equal to minus f of x, then they are called as odd functions. Okay, what is the meaning of this f of minus x is equal to minus f of x? f of minus x, what does it mean? It means that the negative values of x, right? Means on the negative x direction. As you can see in these pictures, from origin to the left hand side f of minus x is equal to minus f of x means it will be opposite to the value of f of x means if f of x is in positive y axis f of minus f of x will be in the negative y axis so it means that all the values of x in the negative x direction will have values in opposite of the values of f of x as you can observe in these graphs, these all are the mirror images, right? Is symmetrically in opposite quadrants. Or in another words, we can tell if we take a line like f of minus x. If we take the line f y is equal to minus x. If we take the line y is equal to minus x and these all are the mirrors of mirrors of the f of x based on that line these are in symmetrical opposite direction curve in the first quadrant is identical to curve in the third quadrant as you can see in this sine curve here curve in the first quadrant is similar to the curve in the third quadrant and the curve in the second quadrant is identical to the curve in fourth quadrant some graphs which are symmetrical some graphs which are symmetrical in opposite quadrants or about origin means they will be symmetrical in opposite quadrants or symmetrical about the origin for example it means that if we take the origin as a point mirror means it is a mirror but it is a point sized then the whole function is the mirrors okay now let's see even functions even functions as we discussed before even functions mean the value of f of minus x will be f of x means the graph is always symmetrical about y-axis okay what does it mean f of minus x means all the values of x in the left hand side if we take right hand side as a common one then all the values of x in the left hand side means the negative x direction will have the positive values or the same value of f of x that means that it is symmetrical right symmetrical along y axis even functions are symmetrical along y axis about y axis that means that graph of the left hand side is the mirror of the graph of the right hand side. Some graphs which are symmetrical in oppose, symmetrical about x axis or as you can see here y is equal to x square and y is equal to modulus of x. As you can see here if we take mirror from the y axis then the, both of these are mirrors. Similarly in the modulus function.
properties of odd and even functions. There are some properties for those functions, like some six of them. Let's discuss about them. The first one is product of two odd functions or two even functions is an even function. As in case of odd and even numbers, sum of two odd numbers or sum of two even numbers is a even number. And product of odd and even functions is an odd function. Similarly, in numbers case, it is sum of an odd and an even number is an odd number. You can remember these two easily. And the other thing is, every function y is equal to f of x can be expressed as the sum of an even and odd function. Every function can be expressed as a sum of an even and an odd function. Okay, the next property is the derivative of an odd function is an even function and the derivative of an even function is an odd function. You will discuss about that in derivatives. You will have use about this. Derivative of an odd function is even function and derivative of an even function is odd function. Okay, you may be wondering what is derivative? Derivative means the change in x with respect to y. Change in the function with respect to x. Change in the function with respect to x. Or you can tell that as the slope of the function at that particular point. And a function which is even or odd when squared becomes an even function. Means if we square a function, whether it is even or odd, it becomes even. Because square function is an even function, right? And the only function which is even and odd both is y is equal to 0. That is 0 function f of x is equal to 0. What does it mean? Actually, f of x means the f of x is equal to 0 means for all values of x, the value of that function is 0. Means you can tell that like it is x-axis. Because x-axis is symmetrical about the y-axis and symmetrically in opposite quadrant too. Actually, it is not in the quadrant, it is on the axis. Okay, now let's see two examples on this. Okay. The first example is, if f is an even function, find the real values of x satisfying the following equation. f of x is equal to f of x plus 1 by x plus 2. Okay, now how can we solve this? Okay, it means that, f of x is an even function. So, f of minus x is equal to f of x. Or in other words, x is equal to x plus 1 by 2 or minus x is also x plus 1 by 2. Right? Because both are equal. f of x is equal to f of x plus 1 by x plus 2. So, x becomes x plus 1 by x plus 2. And f of minus same. So, minus x is also x plus 1 by x plus 2. If you solve that or if you send x plus 2 in the denominator to the other side, then you know first equation becomes x square plus 2x is equal to x plus 1. If you send x plus 1 to the other side, x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2. Okay, if you don't know this formula, for solving the quadratic equation, there is a formula that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. 
where a means the coefficient of x square, b means the coefficient of x, c means the constant term. If we substitute, you will get the value of x as minus 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2. Similarly, if we solve the other equation, x minus x square minus 2x is equal to x plus 1. Minus x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And you will get x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 5 by 2. So the values of x are the finite values, finite interval. Or it has some finite values. They are minus 1 plus root 5 by 2, minus 1 minus root 5 by 2, minus 3 plus root 5 by 2, minus 3 minus root 5 by 2. This is our required solution. Now let's see an other example. Okay guys, this is an interesting example. Find whether the given function is even or odd function. Where f of x is equal to x into sin x plus tan x by x plus pi by pi minus 1. When x is not equal to n pi, you will understand why it is not equal to n pi. Where the square brackets denotes the greatest integer function. As you can see here, it is the greatest integer function. Okay, I think they use the greatest integer function. This is very tough solution. We can't solve that. Let's see how can we solve it. It is a simple one. Okay, now f of x is equal to x sin x, x into sin x plus tan x by x plus pi by pi greatest integer of x plus pi by pi minus 1 by 2. Okay, if you simplify that, it becomes x by pi plus 1. In greatest integer function of n plus 1 is greatest integer of n plus 1. So, 1 comes outside the outside the greatest integer function. You will get greatest integer of x by pi plus 1 minus 1 by 2. Means it becomes plus 0 0.5. And now, if we find the f of minus x, f of minus x is equal to, if we, we should substitute minus x in place of x. Minus x sin minus x plus tan minus x by min greatest integer of minus x by pi plus 0 0.5 sin minus x is minus sin x tan minus x is minus tan x so you get minus of sin x plus tan x that minus and the minus in the x cancels out so you will get plus x into sin x plus tan x and greatest integer of minus n is equal to minus 1 minus greatest integer of n. If you don't know that, see in the properties of greatest integer functions. You will get minus 1 minus x by pi plus 0 0.5 if x is not equal to n pi. But if x is equal to n pi, it is 0. x is equal to n pi it is 0 and now if I simplify that from the denominator you can get the minus common right then it becomes x by x by pi greatest integer of x by pi plus 0 0.5 in the denominator so you will get the minus of f of x and f of minus x is also 0 so f of minus x is equal to minus f of x so this is an odd function Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon. It notifies you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.